Hi everybody! Welcome to Creator Studio Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today we will create the Parrot Pencil Topper. So we're going to create this cutie. Thank you all for supporting me uh, by subscribing to my channel. Uh, I reached uh, 9800 subscribers and thank you so much for that. Uh, you, you guys are awesome. Uh, therefore I uploaded the whole uh, cat tutorial of course I hope you guys really enjoyed that tutorial and well there will be uh, more uh, to come uh, the more subscribers the more uh, whole animal videos I will create so uh, if you want to support me and see more whole animal tutorials make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, click the bell button uh, so you get notified when I upload a new uh, video and keep up to date and uh, well have fun creating uh, these projects so we're going to create this one band count can be found in the description below this video um, so you can see how many bands you need and we're going to create this cute bird let us start with um, we're going to create the beak first so we're going to grab a two a white bands at a time for the first portion of the beak and place them uh, at the same uh, spot I place them the loom has to be an offset so this will be two white bands the rest will be with black bands grab two also I'm going to start with two black bands at a time Two again, two there, one, two, three, yeah. two in the center row, and then I will turn my loom because the rest will be with double looped single bands. So this is a single black band, we're going to double loop it and place it here, and another one here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Also in the center, place one double loop single here, double loop single there. One, two. And I double looped a single again in the center row. This will be a little bit longer than the sides. Now we will do the sides. Oops, too many bands there. A single black band double loop here and another one and then we are going to overstretch a, a single black band and place it diagonally will be a little bit tight also on the opposite side yay there we go and we're going to place another single double loop black here and kept this off with a single black band by wrapping it around five times one two three four five yay there we go now we are going to place the horizontal bands so grab a single black create a triangle here a triangle Another one above that, also a single double loop. And let me check. Yes, another one double loop, single double loop. And the rest will be with two black bands at a time. So place two here and two there. This will be the top of the beak. And we can loom already. So go behind the cap and you placed make sure you only grab the bottom two tiny loops and loom then go inside this loom diagonally this can be a little bit tight so be careful grab them in order don't grab all the bands there we go 
And then all there is left to do is basically loom everything until you reach the end of your loom. So that's pretty straightforward. Simply loom every row until you reach the end of your loom. And then tie off the white bands with a different color. Simply loom up each row until you reach the end of your loom. This is a pretty small project. I will do the lion um, pencil topper next week. So prepare for that also. We loomed everything up until we reach the end of the loom. So grab a different color band. I will use red this time. Create slip knots to tie off your project. And then carefully remove this from your loom. And then we will create the. <laughs> this is too tight for me just to get it off the loom like that. I will use my hook. Bends might snap otherwise. And then you will have to do the whole thing again. You can also change um, the colors, of course, I'm using. I will do exactly the same uh, parrot, but you can also uh, make a red one with orange and yellow. That's also possible. So you can just switch the colors around to create uh, a different colored parrot. Um, this will be the top of the beak. It already kind of curves when you get it off the loom. So put it aside for now and let us start with the bottom part of the beak. Also start with two white bands at a time. And the rest will be with black bands after we place these sets. Oh, how did I do that? I do have to check something. No, I just put them on straight forward, I guess. Or not. Oh gosh, I don't know. What did I do? I have to check my sketch here. Yes, I did it differently than I did on my prototype. Okay, grab two uh, black bands at a time. That's the problem with waiting a bit too long to... Loom. <laughs> uh, well, no, 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 no. Place it straight forward. Two bands at a time. And then we are going to ah, oh, please. I did it wrong. I guess these are two bands here in the center. Uh, did I really use two bands there? Mm, I guess so. We're going to change that. Turn your loom. These are all two bands. Also a set of two black here in the center. And the rest will be double loop single. So double loop single black here. And on the opposite side as well. Double loop single. Then we're going to place a double loop single diagonally here. Yes. This is the way it's supposed to be, diagonally placed here, all double loop singles from now on. Down on the side with a double loop single, and on the opposite side, double loop single. Then we're going to close this already with the one, two, three, yes, place one diagonally here. Those were some strange noises. <laughs> there we go. Then cap off by wrapping a single band around five times, just like the top of the beak. One, two, three, four, and five. I really need to uh, speed up my uh, recording process um, because I tend to forget things. <laughs> There we go, we're going to place our horizontal bands, a single black band double looped here. 
a single black band above of that also so place it here double looped and grab two bands two black bands and place a triangle here and this will be the bottom part of the beak it's very tiny but it's supposed to be like that grab a hold of your top of the beak because we need it uh, pretty soon put it here go behind your cap band loom over whoops grab only the first diagonally placed band and loom over diagonally then grab the second loom over then grab the top of your beak and look for the first set you come across that is double loop so we have a white a black set of two another black set of two and there we have a double looped uh, the first double looped set here we're going to use this have it right side up like I'm holding now with the curve down and stick grab well actually only the bottom two loops of the first double looped set you come across so white black black first double loop set only grab the bottom two tiny loops there we're going to, to place it this this set on the right, around the pack on the right, like this. We have to do the same thing on the opposite side of the beak. So we're going to look for the same set here. This is white, black, black. Then we have the first double loop set we come across. We're going to grab the bottom two loops only. This is a bit difficult to see, but I know most of the time it's better to see on my video than I really see it when I'm recording here so place that around the pack and then we can loom one set on both sides loom one set up then we are going to loom diagonally first so go inside here and loom diagonally inside here only grab the top two loops and loom diagonally we have to do that because we can't reach it otherwise then loom up the center row entirely we don't need to attach anything there so we have the beak here and then I will turn my loom to show you better that we're going to attach the bottom two loops of the black set next to the set we already attached only the bottom two loops of that set do the same thing on the opposite side search for the bottom two you can already see them and just grab them bottom two loops place it around there and then loom up one set not really difficult if you know uh, which bands you need to grab so I try to be as clear as possible uh, to explain to you guys again I will turn my loom to show you we need to grab the bottom two loops of the black set don't grab anything of the white bottom two only and place it around this bag here same thing on the opposite side we have a white set then we have the black set we need to attach bottom two loops placed around this back whoops whoops like this and then we gotta loom a one set further and that will be the beak that's it pretty simple tie off with a different color So you know which bands you need to attach later and carefully remove this part from your loom also Be careful with those double looped horizontal bands yes there we go yes this is awesome shape the beak a tiny bit 
it, it almost shapes instantly you don't really have to do anything specific so this will be the parrot beak we will have six tying bands that we will attach when we continue moving there we go now we need our blue and green bands or if you want to make a uh, orange with a red parrot uh, you can also do that you can even uh, make these white bands yellow if you want to so you can variate in color yourself so try uh, to create the parrot you like best two bands at a time we're going to start with turquoise And I will use uh, the olive green as green here. You can also use dark green, of course. So we're going to switch to the second main body color now. Um, yeah. Two bands at a time. A very colorful parrot pencil topper. Now place two diagonally and two diagonally here. Then we are going to place the horizontal bands, also two bands, two green here, and place two blue here to create your horizontals. Then grab a green band or the same color band as you placed here at the end and wrap it around four times, a single band, one, two, three, four. And then we can loom the top of the head. Oops. Make sure you grab two bands at a time and simply loom everything after you loomed those diagonally placed bands. Simply loom everything until you reach the end of your loom. Like I said, this is a pretty small project, but it will look very cute on your pencil topper. Grab three bands again and tie off. Get some slip knots. I already said I will do the line pencil topper. And I might even do a whole tiny tiger after reaching another uh, certain amount of subscribers. And I think I will keep that at 10,000. If I have 10,000 subscribers, I will do another whole animal tutorial with you guys. Yay! So, help me out here. And, um, well, let's aim for that goal. I think it's possible to reach. So, this is the top of your head you removed and loomed. It's pretty simple. There is not really a back and a front to this. So, just put this aside and let us continue with the middle portion of the head. Start with two turquoise bands or your... Uh, color uh, the color you chose to use so two blue here in the center also two here and now I'm gonna check because yes there's a blue we're going to place two blue diagonally here I use a blue and a green pencil that are uh, pretty close together when it comes to color, so it's a little bit difficult to see for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, grab your green bands. Place two here. And two on the opposite side at the bottom row. And we're going to grab some white bands. So place two diagonally here, two diagonally on the opposite sides, and grab three green bands. So we have three here, and place them here in the center. Oh, I hope this will turn out right. Yes, it has to be. Yes, um, we're going to create some eyes. So grab your eye color band. Mine, mine will be orange. Wrap it around twice around your hook. Grab your pupil color. It will be black. Wrap it around four times. 
reclaim that eye color band, wrap it around twice. This will represent the eye. And then grab two white bands. And we're going to slide everything onto there in order. Two orange, four black loops, and two orange again. And we are going to place it from this pack to this pack. Bird uh, has the eyes a bit more to the side than a dog or a cat. Um, so make sure the eye is facing outwards. Create another eye and place it on the opposite side. And also make sure it faces a little bit more outwards. Like this, and then we can place the beak already. So grab your beak, uh, forget about the bottom three uh, loops of the beak. We're not going to attach those, so you have it right side up as it's supposed to be attached to the head. We're only going to attach the top three sets to those three pegs here. I will start in the center, so stick your hook through, follow that red tying band in my case, and attach it around here. And then grab the one on the left or on the right, and attach it around the eye peg. And now grab the other one, make sure you only have use the top three sets and not the bottom and make sure you stick your hook through correctly follow the tying band and attach it around there so there are still three loose loops at the bottom that is correct and then grab the top of your head hold it with the tying bands facing towards you and we're going to stick our hook through the first loom set in the center in the center row so this is the cap band this is the first set you come across you need to stick our hook through check on the opposite side if you have two loops of that set on both sides of your hook then we are going to go inside this pack in the center grab only the three green bands Slide over that head, hold it with your finger and loom over. Hold this and go inside here and loom diagonally. I only have one band there. It's a bit difficult for me to see what I'm grabbing. Grab the bottom two now and loom diagonally. Stop after that because we need to loom the sides now. Just let this be, won't go anywhere. So go inside here, grab the bottom two loops and loom over the eye part. Also on the opposite side. Go behind all the bands here, grab the bottom two, loom over. Loom up again. Then loom diagonally first before attaching the top of the head. Um, now we need to remove the beak from the loom, otherwise we can stretch the head that far. So your top of the head is facing upwards. You kind of need to flip this over and we're going to attach those three, oops, three loose ends to those three pegs here. So get that around the pegs and then you can already loom. The last set, also on the sides, get it around, place it around the back where the bands are green, then loom the blue, and one set to go, get it around here, then loom the final set. You can reuse those tying bands if you want to, or grab new ones. Most of the time I will reuse them. 
create some zip knots here. There we go. And then carefully remove this part from the loom. This will be the middle portion with the part of the beak attached already. And the top of the head, of course. And the eye part. Yes, this is awesome. You can remove those three red tiny bands on top of the beak. Don't remove the bottom three. There we go. You can loosen up these three bands three green bands you pull through the top of the head, loosen them up a tiny bit and this will be your almost finished parrot pedestal topper. So put this aside for now and let us place the bottom part of the parrot. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, two blue bands at a time. Kind of making the same pattern as we just did before. And is that blue or is that? Yeah, it's also blue. Two more blue on each row. There we go. And we are going to grab our green bands and place them diagonally. Or your choice of color of course two here two here and then we are going to place them diagonally again so diagonally here diagonally here and straight forward here or for you guys it's to your right Two bands here and two there, and this will be the bottom part of your parrot. So, um, yes, we're going to place two green bands as oh no, we have to, we basically have to attach that in between. You should have done it also with the top part, not that it really matters, it won't fall apart, so we, we will do that uh, at the bottom part, we will attach some bands in between there, not that it really matters to be honest, but let's do it to make it extra secure. Um, so this will be the bottom part, there are two blue bands, so we won't forget this horizontal band, you will notice this, if we don't attach anything there, so turn your loom. Um, have your parrot right side up, flip over the head, so it's on top of the beak, and then we are going to attach those three loose ends to those three pegs here. So the center white set will be in the center row here, like this, then search for the next, make sure you really Follow your tying band here and stick your hook through correctly so you get it correctly around the pack. I know that the head is a bit in the way, I'm trying for it to stay. This is a bit difficult to show you guys, but oh, please. You can also do it sideways, of course. Look for that set, make sure you follow the tying band. And attach it around here. Like this, I will just use these and I hope I, it will stay here like that. So it's not in the way for you guys. You don't have to do this, it's just for me to explain uh, what I'm doing. We can already loom the middle portion, so loom over that set and also you can loom diagonally. Uh, don't, 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 
don't loom back one set it's the least difficult part I'm going to attach some horizontal bands in between so remove those tiny bands from the bottom part this can also be a double check to see if you attached it correctly if it flips off make sure you get it around correctly simply remove those tiny bands here the middle one is a bit difficult for me yes there we go then we are going to lift up only the top two loops of each set only the top two so this one and this one on the sides only then we are going to place two green bands in between as horizontal bands so we're going to create a triangle like this then we are going to replace those two loops and that's it nothing more to it we added some horizontal bands in between this is something that is optional loom uh, uh, loom in the center row then loom diagonally this is optional for the top of the head also you can do this but it doesn't really matter for the top uh, part uh, loom over once on the side and then I will we'll have to check on my parent which bands I pulled through which set I pulled through green bands through the white so flip back your parrot head Oh, I forgot one band here meh I will leave it like this <laughs> I forgot to attach the bottom two loops I only added one well it doesn't matter for me uh, I hope you did uh, attach it correctly there will be only one white band there for me that's tight but that's fine we're going to grab the two loops behind the eye we have two white loops here I have so many bands there oh I was in between the that were the horizontal bands we're going to grab those eye bands I'm going to place it around here we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side so go behind your eye only grab those two eye bands where you attached the eye on don't grab any horizontal bands just as I did get it around here like this and then we're going to loom up one set whoops I have way too many bands there only grab the bottom two loops on each side this is a tiny bit tricky there are many green bands there around that back only grab the bottom two loom over then loom diagonally and the other two there we go and then loom up once in each row and then we will attach the three loose ends we have left but you need to remove some part of the beak otherwise you can't stretch it that far so remove a little bit and then all there is left to do is attaching those three loose ends to those three pegs here get them on correctly I hope I will do that this time yes and also on the sides get it around there to the pack you just loomed up to so there will be only one set left on each row to loom like this then loom upwards one set and then you are basically finished with your very pencil topper. 
If you finish yours, uh, please post a, a picture on Instagram, uh, tag me and uh, well, of course, I will uh, like uh, the picture and remove the time bands and write something nice about your loom piece, about your loomed project, of course. There we go, I removed the tying bands. All there is left to do is creating slip knots with the last loom sets. So get it on your hook. I will hold these bands here on the pack with my finger so they won't curl up. Pull through the bottom two loops, through the top two, pull tight. Also do that in the center and on the other side. And that's how we kind of stitch off this pencil topper. There we go! Remove this from your loom. Yay! Well, as you can see, I forgot one band here, of course. That's my own mistake. I made during this tutorial, but that's fine. It's still attached with one band, so it doesn't really matter. If this also happened to you, it, it ain't a big of a deal at all. I think I will clip that band off later. But here we go. We have, yeah, I have to <laughs> do that right now. It will pops out again. So it's a tiny mistake, but it's not really a bad thing. If I can get it out of there. Yes. So there's only one white band left here for me, but that's totally fine. If you want to, you can pull a bit on those eyes to get them more to the side. And a little bit less squished into the head. Yes, there we go. We're going to hide those bands here. So you're gonna stick your hook through. I'm going through the eye part because the beak is quite tight. And you're going to grab those loops, go through some bands here. It doesn't really matter which bands. And try to grab those two loops. Uh, try not to get stuck. I think I am. Yes. I am way no, not gonna going to work. I can even do this. Go through the hole of the pencil topper itself. You can also do that. Do you have a hold of those bands? I do I have too many? Oh. They were a bit tight. And pull it inside. it in. You have to do that with all sets of course. Hide those bands inside the pencil topper itself. And then pull it through. So it will be inside the pencil topper. No, 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 don't go through that stitch. You can hardly see it when you do it like this. It will be on your pencil anyways. There we go, this was the last set. And you have a nice uh, round uh, back of the pencil topper. And also pull in these bands, and you can you can go through the beak and grab them again, and pull them into there. But there you go, your own parrot pencil topper is finished. So grab a pencil, maneuver your way until you reach the top of your parrot head. There we go! Yay! We finished this project! I hope you had 
just as much fun as I did. This will be the parrot pencil topper. Um, next up will probably be the lion pencil topper and I will also do a tiny needle felting um, well actually necessities tutorial first before I will show the technique. Um, I'm not an expert at needle felting, <laughs> really I'm not, but it's also something that is fun to do and I will show you guys a little bit about that in the tutorial also. And I just hope for now you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, well, have fun watching my videos. Uh, have a great day. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Um, that way you really support me and will stimulate me to make even more projects. Uh, if you have ideas or uh, want me to try out some other hobby or things, uh, let me know in the description below this video. And for everybody that is already supporting me, thumbs up for you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I will see you in my next tutorial. Be creative. Bye bye.